Diamonds were formed 3 billion years ago under the Earth's crust. The pressure and heat caused carbon atoms to crystallize and form the diamonds we know today. Only 20% of mined diamonds are good enough to sell, taking into account clarity, color, and shape. Most diamonds found in mines are about 10 carats, and that's before cutting and polishing, so that they're ready to slip onto your finger. So, as you can see, diamonds are extremely hard to come by and become more and more valuable the bigger they get. But what is the largest diamond ever found? Where was it found? How big is it? How much does it cost and where is it today? The largest diamond ever mined is known as the Kulinan Diamond and weighed 3,106.75 carats or 621.35 grams. Its dimensions when originally found were 10.1 by 6.35 by 5.9 centimeters. It is estimated that it was formed 255 to 410 miles underneath the Earth's surface and surfaced to only 18 feet, 1.18 billion years ago. It was three times what was previously known as the largest diamond, the Excelsior Diamond, which was found in 1893 and weighed in at 995 carats. The Excelsior Diamond is now the fourth largest rough cut diamond ever mined. The Kulinan named after the chairman of the South African mine where it was found, Thomas Kulinan. It was found on the 26th of January 1905 by the superintendent of the mine during a routine inspection. It is said that he saw a glimmer of starlight in the wall of the cave just above him. He showed the diamond that very day to Thomas Kulinan, where it was then sold to the Transvaal Provincial Government in South Africa. The Transvaal government presented the diamond to Edward VII, the King of the United Kingdom, as a birthday gift. He initially didn't want to accept the gift, but was encouraged by Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill received a replica of the diamond as a thank you gift for backing the decision. King Edward, not wanting the diamond to be stolen, also arranged to be sent a fake diamond on a steamer ship with detectives guarding it as a diversion. The real Kulinan was sent in a plain box and arrived safely to its destination, successfully evading any would-be bandits. Once it arrived, it was cut into nine large stones and 96 smaller ones, altogether being worth around 40.9 million British pounds, or 54.4 million US dollars. The cutting of the diamond took months of planning and ultimately eight months to complete. Joseph Asher and two other workers working 14 hours a day. The first steel blade used to cleave the diamond broke in two upon making contact and Asher subsequently passed out due to stress. The largest of the stones was cut into a teardrop shape and set into the head of a scepter, known as the Sovereign Scepter with Cross, which was originally made for Charles II's coronation in 1661. This piece of the diamond is known as the Kulinan I, or the Great Star of Africa, and is the largest cut diamond in the world. The second largest is Kulinan II, or the second star of Africa, which rests in the front of the Imperial State Crown. They are two of the crown jewels of the United Kingdom, and along with all the others, are currently being held by Queen Elizabeth II herself. Queen Elizabeth inherited those diamonds from her grandmother, Queen Mary, in 1953, and are passed down the royal family line as heirlooms. The Kulinan diamond, although now in pieces, remains the largest natural gem-quality mine diamond found to date.